You are welcome to another video of Juniper Junos Associate course. In this video, I'm going to talk about Junos interface types and naming convention. In other words, I will introduce different type of physical and logical interfaces and how they are named and numbered in Juniper devices. In the first step, let's talk about different type of interfaces in the network devices and how they are named focusing on Juniper devices. Not only in Juniper devices, but in all network devices, depending on the type of device or the service implemented in device, we have different type of interfaces. Typically, network devices have an out-of-band management interface that connects to the management network and you can connect to the devices remotely, even if the traffic pass is disrupted, depending on the device type. The management interface for Juniper devices can be FXP0 or ME0. Network interfaces are the main type of all network devices connected to different networks. In the past, we had different types of network interfaces like Serial, Sunet, ATM, but today most interfaces are of type of Ethernet, like Gigabit Ethernet or 10 Gigabit Ethernet. Internal interface is the interface which connect the routing engine or control plane to the forwarding engine or data plane. Usually, we don't manipulate this type of interface. Loopback interface is a logical interface and not physical interface, and it is always up. It is mostly used for the reference interface in different protocol. For example, it can be used for connectivity between routers or as a router ID in different routing protocols like BGP, EIGRP, and OSPF. Service interfaces are logical interfaces which provide a service for us if they are configured. For example, if you want to create a tunnel between two locations, you will use ST for IPsec tunnel, GR for GRE tunnel, or IP for IP in IP tunnel interface. Notice that service interfaces like GRE or IPsec interfaces can be implemented in software or in a specific hardware service module with the purpose of increasing the performance. As another example, TAP service interface is to collect network traffic for the purpose of monitoring and troubleshooting. Now the question is how the interfaces are numbered in Juniper devices. Logical interfaces like loopback interface, IPsec tunnel interface, and management interface numbering are allowed to be started from zero. That means you can choose loopback zero as the first loopback interface or any other number. For the IPsec tunnel, you can number the first IPsec tunnel interface as ST0. For physical network interface and also some service interfaces, the numbering is more complex and somehow different. Usually, physical interfaces include three numbers. The first number shows the slot number or FPC starting from zero. The second number shows the line card number or peak starting again from the zero. And the last number is the port number again starting from zero. To better understand, this is a photo from Juniper device which shows the concept of slot number or FPC, slot number one, which has started from the number zero, slot number zero, slot number one, two, and three. Line card number or peak, as you can see in each slot, we can install up to four line card. And in every line card we have usually more than one interfaces. In the right photo, a sample interface numbering in 
slot 3 is displayed in this slot four line cards can be added line card 0 1 is already added as you can this in the big photo into the slot each line card has 10 port number from 0 up to the 9 to better understand how interface naming and numbering works let's list Juniper SRS interfaces with the command show interface test to have just a look knowing all these interfaces actually does not help us until you use them practically and you configure them but let's just have a review for some of them the interface GE000 shows gigabit Ethernet interface which is the most important interface for physical network connectivity the interface GR000 shows GRE tunnel interface the interface IP000 shows IP in IP tunnel interface the interface LSQ000 is queuing service interface to support multi-link service like multi-link point-to-point -point protocol the interface LT000 is logical tunnel interface which allow you to connect to the logical systems which are routers or VPN instances the interface MT000 is multicast tunnel interface if your router has a tunnel peak the Jonas OS automatically configure one multicast tunnel interface for each VPN that you configure and many other interfaces to see some other interfaces from the bottom on the list the interface VTEP is used in VXLAN technology the interface VLAN is the first logical interface that every network engineer learns it and TAP interface is to capture traffic used for monitoring and troubleshooting and finally ST0 is secure tunnel interface and used for creating IPsec tunnel connectivity there are some other interfaces which are clear to us for example FXP0 is the management interface here in SRX device and this is loopback interface which you will use in the next sessions and many other interfaces